What is up everyone? Welcome back to Spooky Sundays. Today I am showing you this carved jack-o'-lantern look that I have on. It was really fun to create so I'm excited to show you and if you're interested keep watching. First I'm going to take a little bit of primer. Now I'm going to take my Bin Nye Magic Cake Aqua Paints. And I'm going to be using an Echo Tools foundation brush. Um, it's stained red because these paints do stain, so just make sure you're using a brush that you don't really care about too much. But I'm going to dip this in some water and then swirl it in the water activated paints. I'm going to be using the orange and just applying it all over. Do you ever have those days where you just kind of wake up and you feel super unmotivated? That was me today. I don't know why, but I woke up and I didn't feel like doing anything. And sometimes you just have to find some way to inspire you or motivate you and get the day going. Today I put on some trap music and that got me going. I'm not going to go around the eyes because that's where we're going to be putting the black. So with the orange, I felt like it worked better not adding too much water, just very little. It took me a while to get the hang of these Bin Nye paints. At first I thought I just wasn't using them right or I just didn't like them, but did some research and some of them you have to get a little bit more wet than others. So I do feel like that has made a difference. It also helps if you like pat it into the skin rather than drag. It adds a little bit more pigment. So I'm really excited for tomorrow. I'm going to this paint and sip event at my apartment, but they're doing like a Halloween edition. Never been to any type of paint and sip thing, so I'm really excited for that. They're gonna have pumpkins and you could paint them and kind of decorate them. And of course, there's going to be alcohol, so... Looking like a Cheeto. Now I'm going to take some black on this small brush and trace an outline of where I want the eyes to go and then we'll put the liquid latex. So now I am tearing a tissue in half and what I'm gonna do is get little pieces of the tissue and then set them aside before I go into the latex. I'm actually gonna cut them with my little scissors to make them a little bit more precise. So I cut little pieces of tissue with my scissors. I feel like it's easier than just ripping it because I can get it a little bit more precise. And then what I'll do is measure so that and then rip it off and then do the same thing on the other sides. So we got one eye out of the way and then I'm gonna do the same thing for the other side. I feel like having the pieces cut already just kind of helps to make the process a little bit easier. And that one for me is a little bit too thick, so I'm gonna cut this end right here a little bit more. But the length is perfect. And I'm gonna be doing two layers of the tissue, so I cut out enough for both times. And I'm gonna take a little bit of this Bin Nye liquid latex on the back of this palette. And normally I use disposable um, cosmetic wedges, but I just ran out, so I'm using this little palette knife and I'll be using that to kind of smooth it around the edges. And I'll be working one side at a time first, and then I'll move on to the next. 
but between each layer, I'm gonna let it dry before I go on to the next. If you've never used liquid latex before, just make sure to test it out on the inner part of your wrist to make sure you're not allergic to it or anything like that. But I have used it around my eyes before and I know that my eyes can handle it. So I'm doing a really thin layer, making sure it's nice and smooth before I add the tissue. And then I'm gonna add the tissue on top of that and make sure it's nice and smooth again. And then I'm gonna carefully pull the edges that are just sticking out. Okay, and like I said, just make sure it's nice and smooth. I'm gonna do the same thing around the edges and then I'll add another layer of latex. If you get this into your hair, it is a bitch to take out, so <laughs> just be careful removing it, especially since we're gonna be putting it on the eyebrows. I use like an oil or like oil cleanser to break it down before I remove it. I never just rip it off because it will pull your skin and your hairs and it could damage your clothing as well. So I would recommend wearing something that you don't mind possibly staining. And I'll hold the middle while I rip off the extra pieces because I want to be extra safe that the whole thing that doesn't rip off and right there I need a little bit more latex so I'll just go back and add some So this is what you're gonna look like so far. Next thing I'm gonna do is add more latex and then do the same thing, apply the tissue around the edges. Okay, so that is the second layer of tissue. Now I'm gonna add latex, and this is the part where I'll kind of sculpt it to give it more of that carved effect. So what I wanna do is apply the latex, still keep it smooth around the outside edge, and then once we get closer up, I'm gonna kind of scoop it and make it look more of like that carved effect. So I'm gonna scoop this out. Taking the sharper end of that and just lightly digging out. Not pulling too hard though. You can even take little scissors if you feel like it'll be easier for you to cut that out. Now I'm gonna let that dry a little bit, go on to the other sides and do the same thing. Still keeping this outside edge flat and then scooping up towards the inner part. I will wipe off the end of this applicator pretty frequently because once it dries it gets sticky on there and then it kind of pulls on the latex. Just be careful when you get around the eyebrows because you don't want to rip any eyebrow hairs out so I'm just very gently tugging. Okay now we're gonna do the other side. We're gonna let this dry completely before we add anything else on there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this side real quick. And I just added a little bit of liquid latex to the bottom of this because 
this side was a little bit thicker. I just smoothed it out as much as possible around the edge here. And that is pretty much it. I put the last layer of latex on this side and I'm just kind of scooping it up. Did it look pretty similar to this like two years ago, but I wanted to try it again. I feel like I've gotten better at special effects makeup. So I was just pretty much recreating an old look that I had done. While I'm waiting for this to dry, I'm gonna take this little crown brush and use the black shade and then draw in my nose. So the edges of the nose don't have to be super straight. I'm gonna go over it with latex as well and do the same technique that I did on around the eyes. For the nose, I'm gonna take really thin layers though of the tissue. I don't want it to connect to the eyes, so I'm gonna keep it really thin. Okay, I'm gonna let that dry and then I'll touch it up. But now I'm gonna go back to the eyes and I'm just gonna lightly stretch out the latex on the inside just a little bit. Now what I'm gonna do is lightly set that with some RCMA translucent powder just to get any of the sheen out of the latex. I'm gonna go over the edges with the orange. I'm just gonna kind of pat it towards the outside. So I went ahead and put orange all around the edges and even the nose. The one downside of liquid latex is it's really hard to get the edges to look super smooth. So for a look like this, next time I'm gonna try scar wax with that. It's a little bit easier to smooth out the edges and make it look more natural, but all I had was liquid latex, and if that's all you have, that is perfectly fine. It'll work. I'm gonna take a little bit of the black paint and then just fill in the nose. So I went over the orange one more time. Now I'm gonna go in with some black eyeshadow and just just set the black paint and I'm also going to use that translucent powder to set the rest of my face as well. Now with this really small brush, I'm going to take that black paint and outline my mouth. Now with this really small brush, I'm gonna fill that in. Thank you. 
For the small parts, I'm using the tip of the brush to get in there. I'm gonna go over this once more to intensify it, but first I'm actually gonna use this Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the color Witches. I just felt like it'll feel a little bit better on the lips than the paint. Now I'm gonna go over the black just to intensify everything. I'm gonna kind of drag it across to blend it in with the lips. I'm gonna take a small brush with some black shadow and lightly draw lines across my forehead and then I'll blend it out with this fluffy brush that I just kind of wiped off a little bit so it's, it doesn't have that black from before. I'm gonna make two on each side. It's really lightly drawing that in. And then once I get to the latex part, I'll just tap it. don't like the way that looks connected so I'm gonna take that brush and just wipe it away and it's gonna mess up the orange a little bit but it's fine I'll just go back over it I'm gonna take a little bit of this Benai stage blood with that spatula knife that we use and I'm gonna put it right along the areas where the latex looks like it's skin. I'm gonna use a Q-tip because for me I feel like it's a little bit easier. With some tissue, I'm gonna take a little bit of blood and just dab it around the edges. I don't want it too concentrated, so I'm just gonna lightly dab it. And this will help to blend the edges as well. So that is the final look. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you also have a great Halloween and if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I will see you next time. Later!